What's up everyone? Nathan Bonner from Katy Cannabis Society, aka YYZ THC TV. And thank you so much for uh, Yazid Al Sayed for being the first Patreon or second official Patreon subscriber. Uh, if you're not a part of the list, feel free to sign up and they'll, I'll answer your questions. Any of them that you might have. Now, uh, Yazid has a couple of questions. And in this video, we're gonna do uh, understanding nutrients and the basic understanding of nutrients. So you can see I have a big pile over here of nutrients, many different bottles. It could look nicer, but it is what it is. So it can get really complicated. Now, from my uh, advice since growing 2015, uh, my first and greatest experience was with the Advanced Nutrients uh, Company. And uh, then going through the years, my best experience was with uh, Kronk Nutrients. Kronk is a Canadian company that specializes in autoflowers. Uh, I forget why I found them. I just knew they were Canadian. I'm like, oh, you know what? I just really want to help the Canadian uh, fellows <laughs> and get that going now they're like uh, I see their Instagram and they're like printing out a bunch of prints He's like thanks for everyone right, since the beginning yeah uh, so definitely uh, some great companies to get started with Kronk and Advanced Nutrients now from there I'll explain the uh, there's two or three different phases there's the seedling stage there's the veg stage and then the flowering stage. Now, this green usually represents veg, okay? Which is green, you know, uh, flowers is usually something like purple or something red like this. You see how it shows like a flower? Usually you'll see uh, <laughs> something that's represent representative of the flower phase. Like, so this start, first start and then you can easily follow on on the back <laughs> and uh it's pretty easy from there so you have the seedling and veg in one which is green which is the beginning which is your grow it'll usually be grow uh veg grow a aka veg aka starting phase a aka beginning phase and then we have the second phase which is bloom bloom phase flowering phase aka second stage we'll have uh, instructions on the back on what to give the plants during these phases right so what I've actually found is a pretty good rule of thumb per liter if you take off this measuring cap of these and you measure them they're actually pretty close to these averages that you have to give per liter so three milliliters to four milliliters fits on that top, that bottle cap. If you fill it up and measure it, it usually comes out to that measurement right there. Usually. Unless you have something more complicated like this right here. We have uh, 25 milliliters. Now I don't think 25 milliliters is gonna fit in there. That's probably like five or six. So you're gonna do it like four times. So that's a pretty good measuring tool. Just use the bottle cap. And so we have phase one, phase two, uh, and then we have nutrients that you pretty much give during the whole grow cycle. And that's usually CalMag, okay? So this one, during the whole time, not just during, so this, we don't give during the bloom phase. And bloom phase, we don't give during the veg phase. Pretty simple, but this, we give during the the whole cycle of the growth of the plant okay this is CalMag. we don't use a lot of this we use four milliliters per gallon of water okay so i use pretty big 15 15 milliliter sorry 15 liter things so three gallon containers so i use 12 four eight twelve and then again this probably fits three to four. If it's one liter that you're feeding, 
per gallon of water. One milliliter per liter, okay? So if this is four, you get your measuring <laughs> stick, okay? And you measure how many milliliters you take, okay? You, you get a device like this. If you really want to be perfect with it, that's how you do it, okay? You get a measuring tool, you put it in the bottle cap, pull it out, mix it in the water, read the instructions, and that's pretty much the uh, ABCs of nutrient growth, okay? So just going over it one more time, we have the veg phase, seedling and veg. You can use a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of veg nutrients in the seedling phase, and then you increase it gradually. And then you transition into the bloom phase, which is phase B, okay? Flower stage, okay? We take away this, don't use this anymore. We continue to use this and then go into flower nutrients. And now getting into the nitty gritty details, we can see that, I'll give this pretty bad example with that one. Let me see this one. So if you look at the NPK factors, we'll just do Bonnie and Clyde. We can see that <clears throat> just between these two simple nutrient packs, we have a higher nitrogen during the veg phase and a higher potassium and sugar level NPK, P and K, nitrogen, potassium, and uh, skipping it's, it's uh, skipping my mind right now. Uh, but we have nitrogen, boron, copper, iron, manganese, zinc, all these things. You can see that the numbers for dummies, okay, they increase towards the end, which is the sugars, okay? But this over here, the beginning numbers are higher, okay, for dummies, okay? So nitrogen is beginning numbers, PK ending numbers, and PK. Okay, you can do some more research on this. I'll do another video on that fully, but for dummies, it's pretty straightforward, okay? And if you wanna ask your question, sign up to the Patreon. I'll do a very detailed answer on uh, what you're looking for, and Hopefully we'll get through it together. I hope you guys are looking good. And uh, until next time, peace.